This girl was drenched in paint. A big pillow fell and stained her face with feathers. She went into the bathroom to take a shower and was caught on surveillance and was put on the platform lift. Halfway through the bath, she screamed as the water burned and her clothes were taken away. She had to run wildly in the corridor to her room when no one was around. She accidentally slipped and hit the door and fainted. The teacher who passed by just looked at her. This is how Saint Trinians welcomes newcomers as the worst school in England. Saint Trinians is considered a madhouse of freaks. No one dares to go near it. Anna had an uncaring father. He has sent her to school here. A dust falls from the sky before they even enter. Other schools had trophies in the display case. But here they had creepy skeletons. Only when Anna met the principal did she realize that her father and the principal were related. He is willing to let his daughter go to hell in order to save more money. The school's big sister warmly welcomed the new students and took Anna to meet them. There are many people living in the large dormitory. There is a cranky gangster girl. There are sexy celebrity sisters. And there are also goth girls. There are also twin girls who have been eccentric since the first year. There are no normal people here. Anna calls her dad for help after being bullied. But dad was busy playing with others. He had nothing to do with whether his daughter was dead or alive. Anna is so angry, she slams her phone. She grabbed her ball and hit the statue. And the teacher saw her. She thought she was going to be reprimanded. But the teacher said she was looking for someone who could hit the ball like that. And put her on the school district stickball team right then and there. Saint Trinians is getting more and more unrestrained. At this time, a new minister was appointed to the Ministry of Education. On his first day in office, he decided to fix Saint Trinians in order to clean up education in England. The minister followed his daughter's field hockey team to Saint Trinians. He wanted to see the real situation of the school on the occasion of the game between the two schools. As soon as the car entered the school's territory, it was attacked. The minister prepares to confront the principal, who he discovers is his college sweetheart. He sneaks inside between the students' games and is stunned when he pushes the door open. The art room is either violent and gory or nude photos. Even the fish tank is floating in a performance art eccentric students. The minister is an eye-opener. Saint Trinians was about to have a major crisis. Students were set to confess on the blackboard, while some soaked in the pool to reflect. Tractors pulling students in protest. This girl's school is a living hell. They learn to shoot with guns in gym class and make fake alcohol to sell to black marketers in chemistry class. The campus is filled with explosions. The students are not doing their jobs. Even the teachers are not doing theirs. The offices are turned into chess rooms. The teachers all smoke and drink. Normal people would not come to study in such an atmosphere. So much so that the school owes a lot of debt to the bank. On this day, the bank came and gave an ultimatum to the principal. The principal must pay the debt within a month or the school will be held against the debt. The principal was in a hurry and the girls were scared to death because going to a regular school is like putting them in jail. And his father learned that the school was going bankrupt and immediately approached the principal to talk business. He wants to buy the school and turn it into a hotel. The girls send their pet dog with a camera to find out information. Anna accidentally learns that she is not even her father's own child. No wonder he abandoned her here with such cruelty. So she decides to work with her classmates to keep the school and get back at her dad. In the crime class, the school's big sister points out the famous painting of a girl with a pearl earring and told her classmates to steal the painting and sell it for money. They did what they said they would do. The students went straight into the British Museum. They were ostensibly on a spring trip, but they were actually on the prowl. But it's hard for them to steal a famous painting. At this point, the teacher tells them that the final of the knowledge contest will be held in the museum lobby. The only way they can execute their plan is to compete and get to the finals. So the girls send their celebrity sisters to answer the questions. If they want to cheat, they can do it any way they want. In the first round, they stole the questions in advance. They got the questions right before the moderator even finished them. In the second round, they drugged their opponents to make them talk nonsense in the arena. In the third round, the sisters used the beauty trick. The boys were willingly attracted to them. The girls were able to win the finals. The girls wore sexy school uniforms. These are the students from the worst schools in England. They will represent Saint Trinians in the final of the knowledge competition. But their real goal is to steal a famous painting from a museum. As promised, they detonate a bomb to open the underpass at the opening cheer of the competition. Although the tremors were a bit strong, they did not attract any attention. The group infiltrated the museum without any problem. The sisters of the competition group 
also got the answers through the headphones and answered the questions easily. At this time, the museum security guards were patrolling. The sound of footsteps was getting closer and closer. The sisters were very panicked. Luckily, the twins pretended to be lost. They fooled the security guard. The group also took the opportunity to enter the gallery. The competition in the hall is in a frenzy. The minister was not convinced that the students could get the questions right. He soon discovered the problem. He secretly unplugged the wires from the headphones and managed to cut off the cheating path. The girls' ears were irritated by the sound of electricity. Without the cheating outside the field, the celebrity sisters were left in their original form and got several questions wrong in a row. Just in time, Big Sister and her group came to the top of the competition hall. Anna quickly reacted by cheering and applauding for her rival school who had just answered correctly. Big Sister took advantage of the applause to shoot the flying rope and successfully climbed to the opposite bank. However, the competition situation is not optimistic. During the intermission, the celebrity sisters tried to withdraw from the competition. The competition was live, so they couldn't quit at that moment. Fortunately, the teacher appeared in time and encouraged them not to back out. We have to persist in everything. Maybe a miracle will happen. They finally calmed down. They were lucky in the second half. The moderator's questions were just right for their social knowledge. The Saint, Trinians were able to turn the tide, gaining confidence and winning applause. The minister was baffled. He looked up and saw the rope above the hall. He gets suspicious and immediately gets up to check it out. The principal sees this and mixes the drinks and goes after the minister. She started to seduce the minister. The minister could not resist his old lover's affection. So he agreed to have a drink with the principal. He just took a sip and fell into the arms of the principal. At this time, the big sister and her group also came to the last level. They passed the intensive infrared defense with their graceful posture and they managed to steal the painting. They sell the forgeries to Anna's father. They were paid well to survive the school's bankruptcy and the real painting. They return to the museum to get rid of the crime. Anna succeeds in punishing her unloving father. The girls also win the competition. Saint Trinians was no longer infamous, but a role model for all young people. In this film, the girls do crazy things. Laughter and energy are in the movie. Adolescence has an extraordinary personality. Maybe that's why it's the only time people are brave enough to take a step for themselves. Youth is very short. Let's cherish it.